First day of the 31st Student Yachting World Cup, and all the sailors started early from their hotel to prepare their boats and train before the actual races. So this is the 31st edition of the Student Yachting World Cup. So we are gathering more than 15, 15 crews coming from more than 13 countries. So this year the defender is England. is going to fight for his title against a lot of countries and especially new countries as Poland or China who have just joined us this year. We decided to organize the 31st Student Yachting World Cup in La Trinité-sur-Mer because uh, this is uh, one of the most wonderful places for sailing in France. The landscape are incredible and uh, also the, uh, the sea, the weather uh, could be very fine even if in October uh, we could have uh, a few storms. 14 teams from three continents will represent their countries and universities for the prestigious title. The teams were focused in preparing their boats for training in the bay, checking all the details on the deck. Trete Sumer offers a great racing environment with a beautiful yachting harbor and varying wind conditions. Forecast for the week, it's supposed to get very, very windy gale force wind, so we're going to have to tie our hats down and stuff like that. Let's review the local wind forecast for the first day of racing. The wind tomorrow is going to be especially strong with winds exceeding 30 knots in certain times. This means that the more experienced crews will have a significant advantage. Strong winds are not for the faint-hearted, and the teams cannot depend on luck. The best sailors will cross the finishing line first tomorrow. The sailors will be sailing in one design boats called the Grand Surprise. This is the perfect opportunity for the students participating in the event to leave their desks and books and compete as a team in the outdoors. We all study the same course in CIT philosophy, and uh, we're all putting it together for this one, hoping to come in the top three. Come to Littrin today, we've done a good bit of training during the summer. Uh, we have a pretty good team behind us. Uh, our goals for the, for the event is a top three. Uh, we've won it here in 2008 with uh, another member of the team with us this, uh, this week. Past winners to fight once more this year include the UK, Italy and Ireland. Which team will face the challenges of the next few days coming on top? Until tomorrow, the students will have some time to enjoy themselves at the opening ceremony held at the City Hall. Stay tuned for more news from the windy 2011 Student Yachting World Cup.